Hi everyone, I'm Kedar, Senior Director of Engineering for Espressive Systems. At Espressive Systems, we build connectivity solutions for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and 802.15.4 based devices. Here we have a demonstration which shows the typical classes of devices that are supported by Matter. We'll talk about a Wi-Fi end device, a thread end device, and the border router, a Matter gateway that bridges to Zigbee device, and a Matter-based controller. As you can see here, we have assembled a bunch of devices. They have already been commissioned into a Matter fabric, and we have defined device bindings so that the appropriate device controls the right devices. Let's get on with the demo. First, we'll talk about Wi-Fi based end devices. Here, you see a Wi-Fi switch that is going to control this fan, which is also a Wi-Fi fan. When I switch on this device, as you can see, that the fan has turned on, and when I press it back again, the fan has turned off. As you might notice, this communication has happened over Matter Wi-Fi. Now we'll look at this part of the uh, demo. Here we have a thread-based light and a Wi-Fi-based occupancy sensor. Connecting them together is also a thread border router that will ensure that the thread and Wi-Fi sites can talk with each other. As I make the movement in front of the occupancy sensor, the light comes on. The Wi-Fi device in this case has connected to the thread end device and operated upon it. Moving on, we'll now look at the matter bridge. Here, we have a door sensor, which is a typical off-the-shelf Zigbee door sensor. It is part of the matter network through this matter bridge. And in this case, it will now be controlling this light, which is a Wi-Fi light. As I open the door, it will switch on the light, and as I close the door, it will switch off the light. In this case, the communication has happened through the matter bridge, again, completely over Wi-Fi. Finally, we come to the last device type, which is a matter controller. As you know, matter allows completely local network based device control. In this case, what we have is a device which looks at all the devices that are available in the house and shows them in this display. I can turn them on or off through here. Additionally, this SOC also has local network based voice recognition. So I can give voice commands and it will act upon those completely on the local network without having to go to the cloud. Let's try it out. Hi ESP, turn on the light. Okay. As you can see, the light has now been turned on. And then I can always turn it off using the display. That's all for the demo today. Thanks folks.